We all know the scene. You've just shot a film worthy of Alfred Hitchcock. You rushed home with your digital movie camera. You've opened up Windows Movie Maker and you're ready to proceed to finally cut it into a superb production. Well, this is what normally happens. You want to download it. So we clip on Capture for Video Device. We've already connected our camera up with a firewire, switched it on, and we're ready to go. We've got the name of our file ready up here. Number two, we've chosen a place to save the captured video. In this particular case, C, Documents and Settings. John, My Documents, Video Capture, New Folder. We click on Next. We want, obviously, the best quality for playback onto our computer. So we click at the top. We click Next. In this particular case, I've clicked on Capture Parts of the Tape manually, so I have complete control over it. We click Next, and up comes the window. An unknown error has occurred. So let's try again, shall we? Most people, when dealing with Windows Movie Maker, tend to think of WMV files. They're easy to use, they're quick to upload onto YouTube. But try thinking this case of AVI instead. So, we'll click again. Capture from a video device. We've got our file name up here. We're choosing C again uh, to save our captured video. We click Next. But in this case, instead of clicking at the top, best quality for playback on my computer recommended, we click the next one down Digital Device Format, in brackets, DV-AVI. Click Next. Again, capture parts of the tape manually. Click Next. And here we are, ready to go. So we click at the top, Start Capture. And hey presto, we've started to capture our tape without any nasty little windows coming up telling us that there is an unknown fault. At the end of capturing our film, we'll click on Finish. We start to import our files, uh, which we've asked to be uh, created into clips. It's only a very short film, and so naturally it has only got one clip. So. We make our film the normal way, drag it down and drop. Our next stage then is to save the movie file. So we click on save movie file. Click on the top to save to my computer. We're going to save it into my videos. There's the title at the top for our movie. Click next. But instead of clicking at the top, which we normally do, best quality for playback on my computer recommended, we click onto other settings. And again, we bring up DV-AVI, PAL in brackets. Click next. Hey presto, we've saved our film without any nasty little warning windows coming up. Finished. Now our film's finished, we've saved it we can upload it onto YouTube without any further problems. Any comments or questions, please leave them. Thank you very much. Bye bye.